Greetings YouTubers and welcome to another fun-filled, exciting Let's Play for you. I really want to thank everybody for all the fabulous subscriptions I've received in the last, oh, 72 hours. It's really awesome and I'm so happy to be doing this for you guys. So, I believe we left off last time. We left off because we had to go to the White Dragon Cave because, you know, we're little adventurers and we have to do that. So I'm going to try and get through here, kind of pause and get past battles really fast. Hope you don't mind if I use a little bit of fast forwarding fusion action there. Because, you know, off to adventure and stuff. So the White Dragon Cave, you have to go to, I believe, the east and then south. Gonna fight some bad <laughs> Now there's a little shrine down here. There's a priestess there, and you can talk to her, and she will heal your hit points and your magic points. This is kind of important because on the overworld map, you will see these little stone figurines or like slabs, and they'll heal your hit points but not your magic points. This is a small shrine to the goddess of beauty and love. What's your business here? Well, I forget what happened to be donated a lot of money. Since I am a poor, broke RPG newbie, I'm just going to rest, which is totally free. I'll use the power of the goddess to recover your strength. Well, that should do it. Good luck in your travels. Thank you, ma'am. Dragon Cape, but of course, in the pure RPG cliche, you can see my path is blocked already. I mean, I don't quite understand why RPG people just can't climb things. You know, it would certainly save us a bunch of time, but of course, you know, they can't do that. Oh no! There's just no way we're gonna get past this ball of ice! Well, maybe if you climbed over it, you have wings! Wait, maybe there's. Yeah, the ring! In the drawer of my house, there's an old ring with the magic of heat. It's worth a shot. So I'm actually going to pause here real quick and then just walk right back to Berg. And I will show you where Ramus's fabulous heat ring is. So back we are again. So we're back in the village and we're off to get the heat ring. Let's, look to, let's go to my house and look for the ring that my dad hid. Now you can actually get this ring before you even go to the Ride Dragon Cave, but since this is technically also a walkthrough and some people actually may not know where this is, I'll show you. Ramus' house is the really big house with this poor schlub in the front. Sorry, Mom and Dad, we're gonna steal your things. Go to this, um, big giant cabinet, and here you go. Ah, here's the ring. It's really ancient, so we better be careful with it. Let's try the Dragon's Cave again, but this time with this ring. Okay, Alex? I'm gonna steal your ring. And let's talk to Mom real quick. Ramus, please don't make your father worry so much. Nanny, I'm a big boy now. I'm big enough to take care of myself. Yes, Nanny. Ramus is big. In fact, he's one of the largest kids I've ever laid eyes on. Wah, 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 wah. Well, people should be interested in almost a uh, kind of a an aside, less played intermezzo of basically me talking to NPCs. No real talking over it, but just NPC talk because that's kind of part of the working design's charm. And since there's a time limit on all this, that'd be a lot of less plays. So I'd be curious what people think on that. Ha ha ha, you be dead. RPG characters can just walk in a perfectly synchronized straight line like that. I mean, I'm a school teacher, and my kids can't even do that. It's magic. Man, stop 
stop attacking me. Hey, got an herb! Oh yeah, definitely do not leave without a couple herbs in hand. So right now, all right, here we go, finally, sheesh. So we're gonna have a quick save here. I think I'll save in Berg. Yeah. Finally, White Dragon Cave. Here we go, finally. Alex, here's the old ring. Why don't you give it a shot? Here's the old ring. <laughs> Let's go exploring. Now the cave is pretty straightforward. There's lots of dead ends though. It's not, it's more, I would say Silver Star is a little more maze happy than the remake is. Let's see what these guys are. Escargoto, Escargoto go! Uh, or watch this one. So let's have an attack. Let's see what happens. Man, these guys are tough. get lots of experience. Now I could go in there, but I know there's treasure here, so I'm gonna go hunting around a bit. Like right here. Bingo! So, equipping that wood shield now. See if there's anything else up here. Oh man, stop attacking me. Why I say there's Ramus hate? Ramus has a decent of defense and he actually has less damage than Alex, but his move is so horrible. And at a certain point, he doesn't level up anymore. So he's essentially dead weight. Right now he's still kind of useful, sort of. But not really. Yay! I believe Supersonic might actually be her last spell. I'm not positive on that. No, actually, I take that back. I don't think so. I actually totally forget. It's been way too long since I played this game. Level gaining. The joy, the joy. Ooh, this might be bad. Let it go. Oh, 
See now, and this is why I hate Ravis. There's already been two rounds and he's not even here yet. stop this let's play right here and i will see you again on our next let's play where we're going to explore even more of the white dragon cave see you then look rpg signing out <laughs>